We've already done a couple of videos on this GSG AK-47 built in Germany by GSG, which, which means German sports guns. This model of the GSG AK-47 is the all-black version. It's uh, definitely a very tactical looking rifle being all black and it'll definitely uh, grab some attention if you go to the range with it. This rifle is $400 on sale plus taxes, fees, and all that other good stuff that goes along with it. And one of the questions you have to ask is, if you're going to buy a dedicated 22 rifle, uh, especially one of these, you know, like an AK-47 uh, look-alike gun or, or a Colt M4, Smith & Wesson 1522, is it worth the, the price of just buying a 22 or should I get a Ruger 20, 10-22 and... and just dress it up or just go ahead and buy a real AK-47 or build a AR-15 it's just personal preference and I can't answer those questions for you that's what you you know hopefully I, this video will help you decide that GSG used a lot of polymer and plastics for the construction of the rifle the adjustable rear sight is all plastic the gas tube the barrel shroud is is a is a plastic cover and the front side is plastic polymer if you would prefer it does have a steel barrel nut and it is removable and the cleaning rod is steel the parts that need to be made out of metals are are made out of metal the top receiver dust cover is stamped steel and the receiver is a cast aluminum uh, cast in two halves and then screwed together it's very thick and looks like it's going to be very durable. You know, the other parts are, are polymers and, and plastics, except for, of course, the cleaning rod, which is, you can't unscrew it, but I recommend using a brass or plastic cleaning rod to clean your rifle. Now, the rifle's selector lever is the safety, just like on a real AK. I like the fact that you can latch the bolt back positively like this. The bolt will also lock back after the last round, after you, after you shoot your last shot, the bolt will latch open. The rifle is equipped with a magazine safety device where the magazine needs to be inserted before the gun will fire. It's just a, another layer of, of safety that you can either argue for or against, but it, it's, it's there and prevents the gun from being fired if the magazine is, re is removed. With the receiver cover removed, you can see the bolt assembly. Uh, the bolt is, is in a polymer carrier and it's real difficult to get to a lot of the parts for cleaning so you have to do a little more extensive disassembly of the rifle to properly clean your rifle after you shoot it. It is a 22, it gets dirty and you do need to clean after each use. In most areas of the United States the magazine capacity is 24 rounds. It, de it depends on your local laws. It can be 2 rounds, 5 rounds, 10 rounds, 15 rounds or 24 rounds with this rifle depending on what your local laws are. The magazine has assist knobs on each side it makes it quite a bit easier to to load up you don't have to fight each round like you would with a 1022 end up getting a, a black thumb at the end of the day then it's all sore. Uh, definitely a lot easier to load. I think one of the big selling points at least for me is the fact that this is made in Germany and we typically think of precision, quality, and reliability when we think of German-made products. Now, even though the rifle does use a lot of polymers in the build, it is very high quality. The rifle will be very well suited for a first-time shooter, a young shooter, or somebody just wants a, a very cool-looking rifle to do some plinking with, a, a very fun gun to shoot. And we will be doing some more field testing of this rifle and check for functionality, uh, reliability after shooting several hundred rounds, will it still cycle reliably? We'll try different brands of ammo. Will it shoot the Golden Bullet Remingtons? Will it shoot the CCI Stingers? Will it shoot Subsonic? And hopefully we'll have answers to all those questions once we really put this thing to its bases.